Hello folks, okay, uh, so we're here at a drippy shower bath, okay, and uh, so in the event you've got a running toilet or a drippy shower or drippy faucet, the first thing you want to do is get a water gauge, it costs around seven, eight bucks, and uh, check the water pressure, because if the regulator is exceeding the pressure into the home, it's going to cause drippy faucets and running water. You want your pressure to your house to be below 80, you'll be okay. Anything over is gonna cause some issues inside the home. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the water pressure here and verify. And right now we're showing 120 PSI, way too high. So this regulator here needs to be uh, Replaced it needs to be set at around I like my regulators to be set at around 70 to 75 psi That's a perfect for all the fixtures um, So that's gonna be the cause All right, so again a tip if you've got a running toilet or a drippy this or drippy that check your water pressure All right guys, so here we are we're gonna go ahead and uh place this regulator again we're showing about 130 psi here 120 130 so it's too high again it's because of this regulator so let's go ahead and uh, uh, replace this with a Wilkins 70 and uh, if you want to just see the model number here real quick All right, let's go ahead and get started. It's pretty easy. First thing we're gonna do is just uh, shut the <clears throat> shut the water off. This is a ball valve, so horizontal. And then what I like to do is just, uh, you could turn on the uh, hose bib to bleed the water out a bit. So let's shut this off here. Take our gauge off. And then bleed the water a little bit. Make sure the valve is working. Once you confirm that, let's just unscrew it here and open my channel locks a little bit bigger. much easier when you have the channel locks set properly. All right, now you can just use your hands. There's the old one, and then uh, let's set the new one in place. All right, so all you're gonna need is just pull the new washers. You can leave these brass, we won't need those. So uh, both washers. Might be a little difficult uh, to do this with one hand, but uh, again, these washers here are gonna go in, and these are gonna unscrew well, he's gonna screw on to the uh, regulator here, okay? So let me just get things set up here. Hold on. All right, so I went ahead and just screwed this a couple of turns to hold the regulator. But as you can see, guys, I'm um, the arrow is going towards the house. You gotta make sure that the that the flow is towards the house, okay? So what you wanna do is just stick your washer in between and then uh, screw this onto the threads, okay? So. All right, now that I've got the washer on this side, now we can unscrew this one and slide the washer in between there. Again, I'm gonna have to pull, put the phone down so I can push this back and slide it in. So let me do that. All right, so now after that, just snug it up a little bit with your channel locks. All right, so now we've got a regulator in place and uh, cranked up the regulator to about 60 and the way to do that is 
you're gonna loosen this up here, loosen this nut up, and then what you wanna do is crank it down. Down is going to increase the water pressure because these come set at 55. So right at around 65 to 70. Uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, let you know when it comes to your regulator uh, replacement is that if this is up against a stucco wall and you cannot turn the regulator what you want to do is go ahead and spin the top portion off you're gonna see a spring and a middle washer here just set this aside now this should give you plenty of room to spin this off um, you're gonna have to do the new one that way as well but again keep this in mind you do have the option to pop the to unscrew the top off to be able to uh, install it properly okay and then to put it back on just put the spring back on this way pop the top off and then just push it down Grab your channel locks. The type of channel locks I like using is uh, the size is called 440. It's big enough to uh, tighten it up and unscrew it um, as well as it's large enough to uh, remove the top. Anyhow, just uh, hopefully this helped, gave you the insight of replacing your regulator. As always, thanks for watching.